Hello there, Sagittarius, and welcome into your February 2023 intuitive card reading, where I will be tuning into spirit and seeing what messages and guidance is coming in for you, as well as weaving in the astrology to support you for this month. My name is Chrissy Whistler. I am an intuitive, an astrologer, and I'm also a healer. Now, if you are needing some support right now, please do reach out. I offer private readings with messages from your soul or chart your stars where we look at the time of your birth, the positions of the planets, and what is the evolutionary intention for your soul this lifetime. So you can find out more of that at chrissywhistler.com. And please like this video, subscribe to this channel. That really does help me to reach more people like you. Thank you so much for being here, Sagittarius. I appreciate you and your energy adding it to this message. Now, this is going to be for my Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. Or if you have a lot of Sagittarius in your chart, then this message is for you. Okay. What does Sagittarius need to know? Oh, I'm feeling a lot in my crown for you, Sagittarius. Okay, we have Anunnaki, light codes, energetic shift, new information, end of a cycle. And then soul star activation, fulfilling soul contracts, remembering who you are. Okay. All right. They asked me to look at the bottom of the deck. And this one has also come out a few times. This is Akashic Stargate, aligned with purpose, crossroads, no wrong path. Okay. So Sagittarius, um, my pendulum. This February is, this is a really big shift for you. And this is interesting as well. Um, I'm filming this on February 4th. So this is actually um, the day after in the Galactic Mind Calendar. They started um, a new spin. So this new nine month cycle. So I really feel for you guys that you are, you are completing some big cycle that you've been on and you are going to start to really feel some energetic shifts, some new information um, around your purpose coming through this, um, yeah, this, yeah, this cycle that you've completed, um, or are completing through this February, like you are have been fulfilling these soul contracts and as you've done that as this cycle that you've been going through is wrapping up it's it's like opening this way Whew, I just got chills it's opening this way for who you truly are it's like you might have been standing at this crossroads for some of you, it feels like a really long time. It could even be for like a year, two years, many months. Like you've been standing there um, and you, don't know, you didn't know which gateway, which doorway was for you. And it was because there was still this heaviness that was holding you down because you needed to fulfill these contracts and as you have it's like the right gateway for you has become clearer and clearer and it is through this experience and remembering of who you truly are yeah that feels really big for some of you like you've been going through it all right let's let's keep adding to this message um, we also do have Celestia. She is currently conjunct Jupiter 
at uh, in Aries at six degrees. So that's going to be for this early end of January, early February time period. And Celestia, she is this liquid light. She is light code. So again, this real expansion, activation of your own light body can be happening at this time. And as the sun starts to get more activated again through February, you can be feeling this as well. Um, the sun was super active early January and then got he got kind of quiet towards the end. Um, but you might want to pay attention as we move deeper into February. That could also be, um, be important for you or you might really be feeling that. Okay, let's see what else for Sagittarius. Ooh, that one, okie dokie. Let's see what it is. Okay, Moon in Cancer with Belonging. A sensitive, introspective phase. I'm hearing don't rush. <laughs> Let your inner hero out. But this is the Moon in Leo with heroism. All right, so February, it's like... Um, it feels like again like you're actually it's, it's oh wow this is beautiful it feels like you truly are shifting energies Sagittarius this February it's like early February you might be really in this um, this cancer phase where you're needing to still be within your own energy um, your own you know shell for the crab <coughs> all right clearing that energy for you and it's you might have really had to pull back from the people in your life because this cycle that you've that you're ending these contracts like it took a lot out of you and so it's almost like after this intense period you need to go within and care for your own inner self to go be still so you can even um gosh what's that word they're giving me it's like you're sifting through this information, you're integrating it before you can like move out into the world um, to be seen, um, to go to this beat of your own drum, your own creative expression. It's like before you do that, Sagittarius, it's don't rush to do this because this part right here, this quieter integration, this introspective phase. It's really funny as I was talking about this, um, there's a very loud car. <laughs> so it's like, you're not gonna be out in the loudness of the world just yet. Take this time to go within, retune into your own energy because it's like you're needing to understand this, this new energy, this new information, these new light codes. And as you do that, that's what's allowing you to, again, this further remembering of who you are. Okay, I'm feeling a lot coming through in my third eye for you guys right now. Whew, yeah, there's, um, this is a really big activation time. But don't rush it. That's, that's this message of, yes, you're going to get to here. You're going to be that hero out in the world, however that shows up in your life. Um, you're going to know which stargate is yours, but it don't rush it. it. It is coming, but first you have to really settle in with this new energy. Um, it's like, I don't know, it just feels like you're putting it on for the first time, like this new clothes, and you got to almost break it in first. Okay, let's, um, I know that sounds kind of weird. Let's keep going and see what else is coming through. Okay, yes. All right, so this is um, Pisces. So, okay, you might very much be experiencing, um, whew, okay. I'm feeling a lot this collective, okay. Um, you're also needing to take this time to go within, um, not be out in the world yet because the collective is going through a lot and you can be really picking it up. We have this eighth house coming through. Um, this is Scorpio energy. So this can very much be like collective going into the depths, into the shadows, intense drama. Yes, that's what I was feeling. So 
this cycle that you've been in has been very intense. Like you've been really down deep doing this healing work. And now again, like this, it's been like this bleed through of energy as well. It's like you've just been feeling everything from the people around you, the environment, nature. Um, our world is quite intense right now and you've been feeling it. So pull back. Go be your inner crab and really settle in your own energies. That is going to be so helpful for you. This is the North Node. Yes. Okay, I'm going to put this one over here actually. Because this North Node, this is in Taurus. So this is this time to go uh, at your own pace. To move from that drama of Scorpio and go into Taurus, the slowness what you love to really like, wring out like a sponge everything that you are picking up from this outside world. And then when you do that, um, y this is Gemini, so you're going to have this. I'm hearing focus. You're really going to be able to focus better where your energy is going. Um, Mars is currently in Gemini. And so especially when Mars was retrograde, it was very difficult to keep our focus. Um, we could be very scattered, all this kind of information coming at us. So use this Mars and Gemini to focus in on what it is that you specifically need, um, especially when you're in this time of deep, oh, deep healing, withdrawal from the world. Keep your focus on what you love and what you are curious about. That's going to really help ground um, this new energy that's coming in as well as lead you further to, to who you are uh, and which of these, these gateways is meant for you to walk through. All right, let's see what else Spirit would like to add to this for you, Sagittarius. Vesta with the hearth. Yes, you need to go within right now. Go back to the home and reconnect there. And then we have Pisces with Sensitize. So yes, you're picking up all this from the outside world right now. Conjunction with Alliance. And then we have Solar Calm. Clarify. Oh, wow. Okay, this is interesting. So As I was mentioning right now, we are in this solar calm. Um, the sun's not being super activated. So I feel like you're going to be getting a lot of clarity kind of coming in. It feels like this dance between a dance between the sun speaking to you through this light codes, through this photonic light, and then those moments of calm and integration. Yeah, Sagittarius, you're really integrating right now. Um, you're really integrating this February, what you've been through, this cycle that's completing, and as it is, and you're really settling within yourself, this home within yourself, that's where this clarity of who you are, where you're meant to go, this new purpose is going to really come through. And new relationships, new alliances that are going to be forming to support you, to support you on this moving forward. It feels too... Um, this completion of this cycle is even going to open up more space within you and your energy, this energy shift to allow new people that are going to come in to support you on what it is that you are here to do and to bring forward. And 
they're asking as well. So for those of you who do know about your birth chart, go look that up and see, um, do you have any planets conjunct the North Node in Taurus right now or any planets conjunct um, Neptune who's in Pisces? Let me see. Yeah, that those ones, those ones. Go look if you, you know, and if you need help with that, and you would like a birth chart reading done, please do contact me. But I feel that some of you um, who who do like astrology, um, go look that up because I feel like there's going to be some added messages coming in for you specifically around conjunctions that are taking place, which is when a transiting planet is next to your natal planet. So yeah, I feel there's something extra there for some of you. Now, let's keep going and see what else Spirit would like to add. Okay, what else for Sagittarius? Okay. We have reaction. <laughs> Ready, but waiting. Repetition. Oh, wow. Clarity. Oh gosh, that's beautiful. So yes, this is just really confirming what we're seeing with the rest of the card, Sagittarius. Um, you've been you've been in this cycle like you've been needing to complete this cycle but it it required a lot from you like you had to have the experience over and over again so you could finally see and understand what your soul was asking you to see it's like you needed the emotional reaction you needed these tears you needed this frustration enough times almost like um, getting hit over the head whole bunch of times before you're like okay I get it <laughs> that is not or knocking on a door you kept knocking on a door and it wasn't opening and it's like finally I see it that is actually not the door for me and that's where this clarity is really coming through for you because you've you finished that cycle this energy is shifting you have this clarity that's coming in this this opening within your soul of who you are and this entire time your soul this dream of yours um your soul's been holding it gently been waiting for you to complete this cycle so you can move forward so you can see the right door for you and who you truly are all right, Sagittarius, let's pull a final message and see what else Spirit wants to add to this for you guys. Final message for Sagittarius. Onward and upward, let go of the past so you can be present and create the future you desire. Oh my goodness, yes, Sagittarius. That is exactly summing up this energy, this experience, this repetition that you've been going through. You are finally leaving this past behind. Your energy is shifting, so you're not stuck there in the past. You can be present. You can see what is. You can finally see this future that you've been holding on to within your heart, within your soul, and you finally see which gateway is for you. And that, when that happens, and you're like, yes, this is who I am, this is where I'm meant to go, that is when you're really gonna come forward um, to let your creativity, your, oh my gosh, this creation, this project, your, your unique voice out into the world. 
and for some of you too with this Pisces, I feel like you are meant to give back to the collective. That what you are doing, um, it's not just for you. It's for so, it's it's so much bigger than you. Oh, it's 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 a real beautiful energy, Sagittarius. So um, I do hope that this was helpful. Please let me know in the comments below how this February goes for you. What is it that you are letting go from the past? And what is it that future that you maybe feel but don't quite fully see yet? Let us know so we can see you. And if you are struggling, again, please reach out. I offer these messages from your soul as well as chart your stars. So that is there for you if you would like. And please like this video and subscribe to this channel. That really does help me to connect with more people like you. I am so grateful that you are here, Sagittarius. Thank you so much. And I will see you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.